He's the nicest person you'd ever meet. Um, he's always trying to help people out. Uh, he'd basically give you the shirt off his back. Tina Burnside is describing her father, Ronald True. He died Tuesday, a week after families say he was attacked by a man he invited into his home. So he was trying to help this guy because he had nowhere to live. This was no stranger. Family members confirmed the man True was helping was his next door neighbor. The neighbor is in his 20s and had been kicked out of his home. So True did the only thing he thought was right. He gave him a place to stay. True let his neighbor, whose identity police haven't released yet, stay in a motorhome in his front yard. He also allowed him to come in the house to do his laundry. So that way the kid would have clean clothes at least. The neighbor spent at least three months living there. True's family says there was just something they didn't trust about him. We knew he was on drugs and we tried to get my dad to not let him come around, but he really didn't listen to us. He just figured the guy needed a place to live, so he let him live here. Then, the night of July 16, while True was sleeping in his bed, family members say the neighbor attacked. He just came in the house and decided to beat him and then stabbed him. And nobody deserves that. Nobody. His daughter says True got away and got out of his home to get help. He was transported to Kern Medical where he later died. True's daughter added her father's alleged attacker was found back in the motor home and was arrested. We contacted the Bakersfield Police Department for information about the arrest but have not heard back as of news time. We also contacted the accused uh, man's family but so far they say they do not want to comment. Amber Frias, 17 News.